Okay, this is Ready to Lose 77. I've already done one video tonight. Excuse all this. This is, um, just got out of the shower not too long ago, and, um, I came home from the gym, worked out for an hour, did, uh, 20 on the elliptical, or 25 on the elliptical, I mean, excuse me, 25 on the treadmill, um, 20 on the elliptical, can't get my head straight, and I came home and took a shower, and then, I have a, this, like I told you in the earlier video, I have like just lots of energy that I didn't have before and I uh, decided I was going to um, rearrange things in my bedroom and my husband's out of town so he's getting on to me about moving furniture around and all that, but I'm not, um, I'm not moving anything. Um, m my daughter and I have the same, I have a king size sleigh bed suit, she has a queen size sleigh bed bedroom set and our colors match the wood matches and i have a big huge gigantic armoire and she has a smaller dresser that has like this little pull out velvet lined it's like a hidden jewelry thing and i wanted we have a flat screen so we had no sense in having a big armoire and she doesn't like to hang up her clothes all the time so it'd be a great place for her to stick her clothes baskets with her clothes in it so I decided we were going to move those things. So that's the only furniture that was actually moved. Uh, other than that, it's just I'm wanting to organize, you know, shoes, closets, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, um, I wanted to kind of um, clarify something earlier with the me, you know, admitting to the what I had eaten and everything. Um, I don't want to discourage anybody. I am so completely happy with my band. Um, I have no feel doctor says nothing no liquid in my band whatsoever um i ha you know i may not have followed everything to a t but i exercise um you know tonight is the only thing that i have eaten that is not healthy that is not good and even even with that I could only eat a small port I mean a ditty bitty 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 portion of it and when I come to think about it later after making the video not only would I have ordered that triple dipper and ate it but I'd have also ordered a side caddy of black beans and rice and ate it and then later on ate some dessert well I'm still full from however long ago that was that I made that video and I don't want to discourage anybody I so far with no feel am loving my band and I love the fact that outside of, oh, I, I, I feel full off of this, I don't know it's there. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing to have this thing around your stomach. And you know nothing about it except for that you have to stop eating at a place you would have just been beginning. I mean, to me, that's insane. You know, and then... You know, I don't eat until I get full sick. I eat until I get, a, you know, to the point where I feel a little full because I don't want to stretch my band out. I mean, you know, my stomach out. out you know, the, the new, I think they call them stomas or something. I've heard those banded Wendy and them say that. But I don't want to stretch that out. So I stop, you know. And after just a little bit of time, you realize that you're, you're way fuller than... You even thought you were. I mean, it is such a good thing, you know. And no, it's not the norm. You know, there are people that can't, can barely even drink water from day one. That's never been a problem. I mean, I can, I couldn't get enough. There was no, I had to take a teeny tiny wood of booty sip because that's all that would, you know, go down without me feeling like it was going to come back up. It's almost like I've never had a, a, a major amount of swelling in my stomach. I'm, a bl I'm blessed. I'm blessed to heal like I've ble I've healed. I'm not even sure I'm going to even have scars, and I'll show y'all that later on. But it's just, you know, I have no expectations of losing 590 pounds in a year. I didn't get gastric bypass. I didn't get a surgery, not that I'm knocking it, to where I'm going to lose 100 and something pounds in a year. Um no matter what I do because I know people being in the in the school board industry our insurance covers I mean you say you want it boom the next day you're approved so I know so many people that have both surgeries 
And they didn't have to work out. They just have no option. They can't eat, you know. So my point in that is that I wanted to do a surgery where I had to work. I had to work out. I had to learn how to eat healthy and what's good for me. Because in the long run, I did this so I can live a happy life, live a long life and see my daughter get married, graduate college, have me grandbabies, and me have fun with them. And if I was to get something like the lap, like gastric, and still eat things like what I, you know, like what I ate a little bit of tonight, you know, that's not the lifestyle I want to live in the long run. So I want to do it smart, and, and working out has always been something that, even though I'm overweight, I've always loved. And um, my point of this, even though I'm rambling on and on and on, is I don't want anybody to think that they're going to either not you know they're not right because they don't feel the same way I do or that I'm wrong because I feel the way I do you know I don't for five minutes I don't gorge I don't overeat I'm probably not even consuming enough calories and that's one of the reasons I chose the food that I did tonight because my calorie content has been you know on the biggest day it was like five a little over 500 calories that's the biggest day other than that it's been 300 maybe and with me working out and going constantly I wanted to give a little trick -a to my body you know and I'm just now coming off my cycle I thought what better time um, but anyways that's I just wanted to come on here and say that excuse all this the no makeup the uh, crazy wet hair um, but um, thank y'all for listening and um, I'm really bad with names, but there's another girl on here who was talking about the, and I'm going to find it later, who talked about it takes 21 days for your body and your mind to make something become a habit. So for the next 21 days straight, she's going to uh, exercise no matter what. I said I'm going to do it with her. I started tonight, even though I had a long day, didn't exercise early, came home tonight. I went home and did an hour in the gym. And um, so today is my first day starting on my 21 days. And I'm going to do it with her. And if any of you new banders out there or older banders want to join in, 21 days to start the habit. And um, I think it's a great idea. And thank y'all for watching. Bye.